to Yvonne's Crochet Channel. Today, I will show you how I made this stylish vest for daily wear. First, I will show you the design on the paper. The vest is mainly include front part and the back part. I use medium yarn and 5mm hooks. First, let's see the front part. It's a v-neck front. We crotch it from the bottom of the vest. First, we chain 15. We begin with the bottom ribbon. That's the height of the ribbon. If you want higher, you can chain more. And for this part, we do single crochet back loop only stitches. Back and forth for 71 rows. That's the length of the vest. So for the front part, bottom ribbon, the height of the ribbon is 15 stitches and the length is 71 stitches. Here is how I made the bottom ribbon. This is 15 stitches. We do back loop only, like this. After we finish the last stitch of this row, we chain one and turn the work. And we keep doing back loop only single crochet. Repeat this pattern for 71 row. Next, we're gonna make the body part. We will do horizontally. I will add another kind of yarn with the white yarn crouching together. We will do the new pattern for 12 rows. I did choose this greenish colorful yarn. Make a tie first to prepare for later adding in with the white color. Begin with the white yarn chain one first and go through the first stitch at the other color yarn make it go through the first loop Tight the yarn. Now we change to the new color yarn. Put the white yarn behind. First, we chain three to begin with a double crochet. Find the first stitch. Do a double crochet and then on the next one do another double crochet. Remember to leave the yarn white yarn behind. This is the third double crochet. Then we chain one. We skip one stitches and do another double crochet. Try to locate the, this stitch on the pop-up position and keep doing for three double crochet. Then we chain one. This is two set of the pattern. Three double crochet, then chain one. Repeat for this row. 
when we reach the end of the row, we have to change the yarn color to the white. As the last stitches, put the green yarn behind and pull the white yarn through. Then we chain three. This is the first row, and then we turn the work and do the next row. First, we find the first stitch. Next, we do treble crochet on the two rows ahead position. It's the last row, chain one position. And also remember to put the green yarn behind to hide the yarn. Then we keep doing double crochet on the next stitch. On the next stitch, we do just chain one and skip this stitch and do double crochet on the next one. When we reach the last row, chain one position, we do treble crochet. Next, doing double crochet. Then chain one. Every time when we meet the middle of the three, we chain one to skip it. Then we keep doing the same pattern with the white yarn. When we reach the last stitch of this row, it's time to change back to green yarn. At the last stitch, change to green yarn and pull through the white and tighten the yarn. And keep going for the next row. Here you can see the green yarn connect together. At the end of the 12th row, we cut the yarn. And tighten the yarn end. Here it is I finish with the 12th row of this pattern. Mark the middle of the body, which is the 36 stitches. This is the bottom point of the v-neck. Then we're gonna do the shoulder part. We're gonna crochet, begin with the 6 stitches of the row 12. Row 13 is from the six stitches to the 36 stitches, which is we marked before. Then we crochet back and forth to 34 row. 
this is left part of shoulder, and we will repeat the same pattern for the right shoulder. Next row is the colorful yarn. We make a note and are ready for crochet with. Find the six stitches positions to add the yarn. Tight a little on the hooks. Single crochet on the first stitch. Then on next stitch, do half double crochet. Double crochet on the next stitch. And then we use the same pattern as before. Keep doing double crochet. And when we reach the big hole, we do treble crochet on the two row ahead position. For the next stitch, we do double crochet. And then chain one. Skip one stitch, do double crochet on the next stitch. And repeat this pattern. We we'll reach the last three stitches to the marked place, we we'll do decrease. When we reach the last stitch, we change the yarn color to white. We turn the work and chain three. First, we do double crochet decrease. Then we keep doing the same patterns as before, do double crochet. And when reach the big hole position, we do treble crochet. At the last three stitches, we do double crochet decrease. And then we change back to the green yarn to pull through. Turn the work and chain three to start with the next row. First, we do double crochet and then repeat the patterns. At the last two stitches, we do double crochet decrease. When we reach the next side part, we do double crochet decrease. But when we go to the arm part, we don't increase or decrease the double crochet. Make it flat. We repeat this part and from row 15 to row 34. 
The last row, 34, has six stitches. This is uh, left shoulders down. You can see there is a curve on the v-neck part. As the last stitch, we chain one and cast a yarn. Then we can do the other side with the same pattern. After we finish the front part, we do the back side. The back side has the same pattern, but without the v-neck part, so it's easier. When we reach the row 32, we stopped, and then we mark the 12 stitches for the neck part. This is the back side. I mark the position and begin chain change the yarn color to green. First, chain three to begin with this row. Do double crochet decrease for the first three stitches. And then keep following the pattern to the last two stitches. At the last two stitches, we do decrease also. For row 34, we change the color and chain 3. Then we need to connect the front and the back part. We do the shoulder and the body side with single crochet from the back side. So when you flip over, you can't even see. Then we can add the collar. We do it from 36 stitches position. Begin with a single crochet. The total width of the collar is the six stitches. Then we add the arm ribbons for six stitches long with the same pattern. We do the collar from the marked place. First we do single crochet and do slip stitch on the next stitch. Then we turn the work and do two single crochet on the previous row stitch and turn the work for the row three we do single crochet increased for the first stage the next stage is single crochet so the row three has a three stitches then from row four to row six we do single crochet increase for the first stage for the each row. So we have six stitches on the row six. For the row seven to the last row, we do the same stitches. At the last six stitches, we do the decrease and connect the row one to six with the last six stitches together. For the arm ribbons, we do first chain six and do single crochet back loop only, like the bottom ribbons as well. You can adjust the stitches, make it larger or smaller. This is a stylish pattern vest and it's so warm to wear every day. Thanks for watching.